We're here with Teresa Dernan, Councillor-Elect in the Vernon Civic By-Election. Teresa, how are you looking forward to a seat on Council? I'm absolutely looking forward to a seat on Council. As I was saying earlier, uh, when I arrived here today, I've been ready for this seat since 2018. And uh, um, it's difficult the way it happened, but I'm, I'm honoured to be able to uh, fill that seat. And are there any particular goals that you hope to accomplish with that seat on Council? I think for me, um, you know, I, I think the primary goals are keeping my word to uh, the, the citizens of Vernon um, in my campaigning around uh, climate and supporting housing for middle, middle class and low income families as well as uh, supporting business in the city of Vernon. Yeah. And this being a by-election, uh, we're due for a general election in October of 2022. Uh, so more or less about a one-year term. Uh, are you using this as, as a test for uh, whether you uh, would like to pursue a, a further political career uh, at City Hall? <clears throat> so great question. Uh, I, I view this as a runway. Uh, into bigger and better things and absolutely am committed to uh, running in the next general election for Vernon. I think this will be a, a great time for me to lay the groundwork uh, with the city council team to be able to get ready for that election and to have a successful you know, term coming up for the next four years. So absolutely I'm ready to go and, and this will be a great learning curve for me. I'll do my learning now, be uh, well prepared for the, the next regular election coming up. Do you expect to see some of the same challengers again in October? I do, and I'll be ready to go. And uh, as far as the key issues you mentioned there, uh, do you have any more detail on uh, you know how you plan to push those forward? I, I think one of the most important ones, well, I, I think all my, my platform items were very important and relevant. Uh, the, the climate situation and the fires last season, that was huge and very terrifying for a lot of the area residents. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll encourage this, the City Council to go you know, in, in the direction for you know, mitigation and, and making sure we're adapting emergency services, etc. The, the City uh, discusses that a lot and has a, often has agenda items on those things. Housing, the, the city does a lot of work around, you know, variances, et cetera, for the housing items. So I will be, uh, I'll be uh, a voice for that, ideally, when those items come up. And business, business rebound, anything we can do to help businesses in Vernon get back on their feet after the pandemic, I'm, I'm all for that. And we'll be also advocating for those items as they come up across the table. What have you been hearing on the street from the business community? That they're having a tough time and they're still having a tough time. Labor shortage is huge and that's uh, directly linked to the, the housing situation for Vernon. Uh, we're, we're having trouble you know, recruiting um, talented people, uh, even, even frontline people in all businesses and all the sectors are, are having a hard time and that's directly linked to our housing situation and the expensive housing that, that is available, people can buy up. A history of you know good relationship working with the city especially uh, for over 11 years contracting to the city doing tourism I you know it's it's like going home in a way for me all right congratulations again thank you so much cast news John Manchester in Vernon